the P-E ratio isn't a metric you view in isolation and only becomes useful when you compare it against other similar companies. We preferably want to compare the stock's P-E ratio to the average of companies that have similar features to HTHT, such as capital structure and profitability. One way of gathering a peer group is to use firms in the same industry, which is what I'll do. Since it is expected that similar companies have similar P-E ratios, we can come to some conclusions about the stock if the ratios are different. At 59.4x, HTHT's P-E is higher than its industry peers, 25.4x. This implies that investors are overvaluing each dollar of HTHT's earnings. As such, our analysis shows that HTHT represents an overpriced stock. A few caveats. However, before you rush out to sell your HTHT shares, it is important to note that this conclusion is based on two key assumptions. The first is that our similar companies are actually similar to HTHT. If the companies aren't similar, the difference in PE might be a result of other factors. For example, if you accidentally compared lower growth firms with HTHT, then HTHT's PE would naturally be higher since investors would reward HTHT's higher growth with a higher price. Alternatively, if you inadvertently compared riskier firms with HTHT, HTHT's PE would again be higher since investors would reward HTHT's lower risk with a higher price as well. The second assumption that must hold true is that the stocks we are comparing HTHT to are fairly valued by the market. If this assumption does not hold true, HTHT's higher P-E ratio may be because firms in our peer group are being undervalued by the market.